thank you very much for having me join you today to speak about drones and the war on terror. My name is Elsa Rosbach. I'm a uh, U.S. citizen living in Germany and a co-founder of the German Drone Campaign and also active in some U.S. organizations like Code Pink and United National Anti-War Coalition. I wish I could be with you today, but I had to be in Germany because we had a very important court case on the 27th of May uh, of a Yemeni family who is suing the German government in a German court to uh, request that the German government stop allowing the U.S. to use Rammstein for drone strikes on Yemen. And of course, Rammstein is also key, as we've recently learned, for all the U.S. drone strikes in Africa and also in the Middle East, in Pakistan and Afghanistan. There is another uh, satellite relay station besides Rammstein that's in Korea. And that would be for any drone strikes in the Pacific region. Uh, the Faisal bin Ali Jabbar of Yemen was the plaintiff and he was represented uh, by the uh, NGOs, Reprieve, and the European Center for Constitutional and Human Rights. And uh, they requested again that Germany forbid the use of the satellite relay station in Rammstein and they did not prevail on the 27th but they took they made several good steps forward. The court said that although they are not German citizens, they have a right to bring their case in the German court. And the court also said that the allegations made in the case about Rammstein, allegations that up till now have only been in the German media and in the worldwide media, that these allegations are plausible. It's the first time the German government or any official place in the German government has uh, stated that these allegations are plausible and the family will appeal. Uh, of course, we are not going to win the case against U.S. drone warfare in the courts alone by any means. It's necessary to have a broad popular movement in Europe, in Germany, in the U.S., around the world, to stop this. But there is definitely a rising opposition to U.S. drone strikes in Europe, and particularly for the use, for, for, for allowing European countries to uh, provide assistance to the U.S. for such drone strikes. Uh, one example is the resolution of the European Parliament in February 2014 that passed with a landslide vote of 534 to 49 and said, I quote, that the EU member states must oppose and ban the practice of extrajudicial killing and not perpetrate unlawful targeted killings or facilitate such killings by other states. Of course, they primarily meant the USA but this also could apply to Israel, assistance to Israel for weapons, drones, systems, and so forth. I want you to know that you in the U.S. have played a key role from the very beginning in, in the German opposition to drone warfare. Were it not for the work of courageous U.S. activists, attorneys, and the heroic whistleblowers, we would know much less about what the U.S. is doing in Europe and in Germany. But also, your protests going back over years about the illegal drone strikes led to an atmosphere here where the Germans, in the majority of Germans, do not want Germany to even have armed drones. That was the uh, focus of our German drone campaign when we started, which was in the beginning of 2013. The German government had, or German Defense Department, I should say, had at that time announced that they wanted armed drones. And there was a quite an outcry, not only from peace activists, but from leading 
uh, journalists in some of the leading media, from, uh, from uh, scholars, legal scholars, scientific scholars, from churches, from NGOs, and also from two parties in the German, Bund <coughs> German parliament or Bundestag, and uh, many other members of parliament who weren't in those two parties. So um, this was because people were reading through your protests what, what is to be criticized about the use of armed drones, that armed drones are often used uh, to undermine, or most often used to undermine international law, that they are used in violation of human rights laws, and the German people don't want their military or their security services to have that option to use drones in these ways. So, um, I should say that beyond, well, I should say that we have so far succeeded in holding off the German military from having armed drones, but it's uh, neck and neck. We're fighting them on this every day. And by the way, it's very important what Germany does because there is in fact no country in continental Europe that has weaponized drones up until now. It's true that Italy has drones that can be armed, so does France and so does Holland. And the U.S. and Israeli defense industries are pushing to have these drones armed and to have armed drones throughout Europe. But this has so far not happened and what Germany decides to do will perhaps play a key role in what the European attitude will be about this. So uh, thanks to you, and because we were lucky enough not to have drones as early as the U.S. did have them, we have a, a role to play here in stopping proliferation, perhaps even worldwide, we hope. I should uh, add that uh, regarding the U.S. use of German territory for these illegal drone wars, uh, AFRICOM is also very important. The U.S. established AFRICOM in 2008 in Stuttgart after no European country was agreed to take it. AFRICOM is the Pentagon's central command uh, for all military activity and even some supposed aid activity in Africa. And that includes, of course, building out the drone bases in Africa and choosing drone strikes in Africa. And. Um, Africa has long been a, a subject of concern for German peace activists. This coming weekend, next weekend, uh, June 6th and 7th, there's going to be large protests in Stuttgart, including a human chain. So you may want to consider messages of solidarity and so forth regarding that. Um, now, it's true that right now, I'm sorry about the traffic, it's, it's true about that right now Germany is playing this key, can play this key role. It has the most important facilities in Europe for the U.S. drone wars elsewhere and uh, also a population that is, as a result of experience, their own experience of war, deeply anti-war and anti-militarization. So these are some advantages, but the U.S. is trying to uh, find other avenues in case Germany proves to be, uh, to, puts up too much opposition. Uh, there is a satellite relay station um, in Italy. It was begun in a U.S. satellite uh, relay station. It was begun in 2012. Uh, we're not yet certain uh, how much of the work of Rammstein this Italian facility could go over. Of course, the European Parliament uh, Parliament resolution I mentioned to you would apply also to Italy, um, but uh, of course all these European countries are also competing uh, to be close to the U.S., to uh, have their own military uh, uh, ventures, and of course their defense industries are also competing. But uh, we would hope that a movement in Italy will develop, and there is a movement already, that would help to stop uh, this satellite relay station in Italy as well. And of course, you've also heard of other important bases used in the U.S. drone wars, such as 
Pine Gap in Australia, such as Menwith Hill in Great Britain. Uh, these are uh, facilities staffed by the CIA and NSA that are primarily used for intelligence gathering for the drone strikes and from the drone surveillance. Well, I said that our struggle will not be won in the courts alone. Uh, we have a better chance also in the European parliaments than you do in the U.S. because we have so many different parties in the parliaments and they're not quite as dependent on corporate donations and so forth as in the U.S. But of course the most important thing to build uh, is to build resistance internationally. This is very daunting. It requires uh, becoming aware of cultures, even languages in other countries. But I think that we ha are taking a very strong step in the current solidarity between the U.S. and the German peace movements to shut down the satellite relay station in Ramstein and also to try to close down AFRICOM. Thank you very much. Thank you for taking time to hear this statement.